In production plants, this surface view is all an operator can see. As a result, many mixers are misapplied and often the mixer and the manufacturer are blamed for the poor mixing result. One additional consideration that should be given to this positioning issue is the mechanical effect it has on the mixer. Operating the mixer in a vortex or swirl condition dramatically increases the bending force on the mixer shaft. This has an adverse effect on mixer life. The customer may break the mixer shaft or destroy the bearings in the drive. Many times, if the operator of a mixer feels they are not getting good mixing, even though they have a vortex, they attempt to get more mixing by increasing the speed. Here, we have increased the speed in this demonstration by 50%. Due to the speed to power relationship, this requires over three times the horsepower. As you can see, the mixing results are virtually the same, even though we have more of a vortex. This confirms that a vortex is not good mixing. We also have increased the bending force on the mixer shaft, which increases the chance of early failure. When we put the mixer back in the optimum position, right of center at the higher speed, we can see that not only do we get complete mixing, but there is no vortex.